Yes guys, it's Tom here and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now today, as you can see, we're in the cage. I was back at the academy yesterday. Today, the second years are in, we can't mix at the moment just because of the COVID rules. And then tomorrow, we're going back in. So we get two days a week at the moment. That will be extended sooner or later. So we do get to go back for the fourth week. But that's how it is at the moment. So in between, we're still getting our work in, we're still grinding, and we're still practicing some football. Currently it's 8.15, we're at the cage nice and early. I wanted to get out free cage in the morning and hopefully no one else comes on here during the time I'm training. Last time I said that, they came on straight away and I hadn't even finished doing my warm up with the ball. So that was very frustrating. We're gonna get in, do our warm up, do our full warm up with the juggling and that kind of thing. And then we're gonna try and use as much of the cage as possible in our drills and try and make them as match realistic as possible. Now, without further ado, I don't want to waste any more time. We're going to get straight into the training session. So, let's go.
Okay, so I very briefly just want to explain what's going on in this drill here. So basically, there's three gates along the back here, as you can see where the red arrows are. Three gates along the back of this wall, and I'm doing five passes on one of the sides. I'll turn out and play it into a gate. When it bounces back off the gate, I'll take it to the other side and do the same and repeat it. So yeah, that's basically this drill, but as you can see, it's kind of hard to notice the gates, so I just wanted to explain it for you guys.
Okay, so we've just finished at the moor in the cage and what a great session that was. So the first hour and a half was really intense because I noticed my intensity in previous training sessions, individual ones, seemed to be lacking. So that I was really trying to make as high intensity as possible, fizz the passes in, quick touch, turn and a shot and or pass, that kind of thing. So I was really happy with that intensity. And then once we did the hour and a half of that, we slowed it down a little and we took it into just freestyling. I was gonna only do like 20 minutes, but I just ended up staying for like another 35 minutes because I was really enjoying it. So yeah, uh, we're on the way home now and I'll speak to you when we get in. Okay then everybody, so as you can see, I have got home. I just went out on a dog walk with the dog uh, around 30 minutes, got a few more steps in. Um, my legs are feeling it because we've already done 16,000 steps today and already burn 1,700 calories. So that's quite a lot, especially because it's only 11.30 in the day. We've still got a workout to do. And I genuinely might go outside and just practice some more freestyle in my garden on the uh, patio because I really enjoyed just trying to hit this really long, complicated combo. I didn't hit it, but that's the point of growing and trying to hit it. I, I enjoyed the process, so I, could, I might go out and keep trying to do that later. For now, what we're going to do is we're going to get on with some editing currently, and then after a while we'll get some lunch. I've got a little bit of work to do for Maidstone on the education side of things, so I'll get that done as well. And other than that, that's what we've got to do for the rest of the day, to be honest. Champions League on tonight. I might watch one of the games. I don't know. Depends how much time I have and whether I've edited the video. Now I'm really excited to edit this video actually because it's the one I did yesterday in Maidstone and we filmed the full training session. Annoyingly it cut out for the last 20 minutes of the match. It missed a really good goal from me as well and I'm quite annoyed about it. But I'm going to make sure I plug in my portable charger next time, tomorrow, hopefully, and we should get everything that we do. Other than that, let's get cracking. All right, guys, so we have our lunch right here. I've finished, well, I haven't finished editing the video because there's a lot of it, but I've, I'm back... Half, I'd say I'm halfway through the video of editing, and it's... Oh, I'm so gassed for you guys to see it. It's just like... This is unprecedented access to inside an academy that you don't get to see. I ask you to find anywhere else where you get to see this much content from inside an academy. And I bet you wouldn't be able to find it. So I really hope you guys will enjoy this when it goes live. But for lunch, three slices of multi-seed sliced bread, 15 grams of protein. Happy days. Three rice cakes, an apple, protein bar, actimel, yogurt. Lots of vitamins, some protein, there's probably about 15 grams of protein in that. Muesli, lots of carbs, and also about 15 grams of protein in there. And it's peng. And you might think it's stupid, but when you try it, I've had lots of doubters in the past about my muesli. They all hate on it. They're like, why are you eating so much muesli? And then when they try it, they become addicted. I'm not even lying. Like genuinely, it's so, it's just, it's a superfood. If you're trying to bulk, there's so many calories in such a small amount. There's loads of protein and there's loads of carbs which gives you energy as well. It's amazing and it's really nice. I couldn't recommend it highly enough. But I'm gonna get into this grub. Up now, up now, and I ain't never gonna touch down, touch 
Sweet and spice, throw it all in a cauldron, mix it up real nice. Fire up in my eyes, stir counterclockwise. I dream of you all night. Absolutely great workout we've just got in there. I really, really enjoyed it. The legs are feeling it as well. We worked on both like strengthening and some more like power plyometric stuff in there. Really, really good workout and I enjoyed it thoroughly. As you saw as well, in between each set of the each exercise, I did a hundred juggles, uh, just random different types of juggles, like we do pyramid juggles, left foot, right foot, normal, low, all, all different types of juggles, really good. So that got an extra 1500 juggles there. And then we finished it off with five minutes of planking, which I'll do literally every single day. I'll do five minutes of planking because it's just really good. Strengthening the core, helping prevent injuries and making sure you're strong and stable. But yeah, really enjoyed that workout. So now we're gonna have a whole uh, 16 eggs in an omelet, obviously, because we need like that amount of protein. And then we're gonna have about 700 slices of bread. So it should be a good meal. Don't worry guys, I was only yoking about the eggs. I apologize for that. 
I really do apologise. We're actually going to have three eggs, but Jesus Christ. So I've absolutely butchered those eggs, which is brilliant, and they just look like absolute poo, but they still got a protein in, so we're gonna eat them. Unfortunately, after that, I did just chill and go to bed. To be honest, there wasn't anything else to do during the day. I think I edited a little bit, but I just went to sleep quite early because I was very, very tired. And obviously we have made stone the next day. So, I hope you have enjoyed the video. I'm gonna keep the outro short and sweet. If you are new around here and you've watched this far, you're clearly interested. So make sure you do press the subscribe button and stick around for more content. Make sure you like the video. If we could hit 175 likes on this video, it would be amazing and a big thank you for you guys if you do that. Comment anything down below. As always, I just love replying to the comments and I reply to all of them no matter what they are. And until next time, keep training.